Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Alhamdulillah Salatu wassalam ala rasulillah Wa ala alihi wa ashabi ajumain Amma ba'd Students, uh, the third part of the theory Angles in same semicircle Angles in semicircle So we can go for the theory directly because You have uh, more knowledge uh, on this theory All the theories are connected with the first part so the third theory is an angle in the semicircle is a right angle an angle in the semicircle is a right angle in other word an angle an angle in the semicircle is 90 is equal to 90 okay if you observe this figure you have a semicircle ab is the diameter you have a semicircle so we draw the other part of the semicircle with the dotted line okay if you consider a b a b with the uh, circle a b is on the semicircle but we draw the the other half of the circle so a b is an arc uh, in here a b is a semicircle special name is there because a b is a o b is diameter okay AOB is a diameter, so that's why AB is a semicircle circular arc. So the ending point of A and B connected to the center. The angle is 180 because always the diameter is a straight line. Okay, if you consider AB semicircle, uh, in which magnitude of the angle subtended at the remaining part? I mark uh, point C and point D here. If you connect the ending point of AB semicircular arc, ending point of semicircular arc, it's connected to the remaining part of the circle. So, what should be the angle? Related to the first theory, uh, angle on the circumference is twice the angle on the center, which means it's half of the center so the center is 180 because diameter is 180 so the angle should be 90 so if you connect another point on the semicircle another point on the semicircle so it is also a subtended angle by the same arc semicircular arc AB so the center angle is 180 so half of it it is 90 so when you consider an angle on a semicircle who is going to be who is going to subtend the angle so we all we always ask who is going to be subtend the angle and where is the angle is subtended there is uh, main two points we discuss uh, on the first uh, theory the position of the angle and who is going to be uh, sub who is going to be subtend the angle on a semicircle the remaining semicircular arc can subtend the angle okay if a remaining semicircular arc subtend any angle the center angle is 180 so the subtended angle uh, on the semicircle it should be always 90 because the subtending angle is who is subtending semicircle is subtending so angle in a semicircle is always a right angle okay okay write the theory angle in the semicircle is a right angle okay we'll go for the formal proof for the formal proof draw this figure okay so we'll go for the proof so we using this figure we are going to write the formal proof okay first data write it C is a point on the circle C is a point on the circle with center O 
C is a point on the circle with center O and diameter AB. So the diameter AB is given as data. Okay. To be proved that ACB is equal to 90. ACB is a right angle because ACB is on semicircle. Okay. You don't need uh, any construction here. Directly we can go for the proof. Okay. We direct, directly will uh, using the first theorem. So AOB is the center angle. AOB is the center angle. Uh, is equal to 2 ACB. AOB center angle is equal to ACB. So angle subtended at the center twice the angle. You can write the theory here. But but AOB AOB is a straight line. AOB is a straight line. So therefore we can substitute AOB angle as 180. But AOB is a straight line. So AOB angle we can substitute with 180 because angle on a straight line is 180. So if you substitute it 2 ACB is equal to 180. So ACB is equal to 90. So always angle on a semicircle is a right angle. Okay, we'll uh, discuss some uh, examples. Then you can uh, do the entire exercises. Students, we have three example questions here. We'll go for the first question. Copy the figure. Find the value of x. So if you refer the figure given, O is center. So AB is diameter. So ACB angle is on the semicircle. So we can directly write ACB is 90 because angle on a semicircle. So we have two angles of a triangle. So we need, we can find it. Find the X. So 90 plus 70 plus X is equal to 180. So X equal 180 minus 160. Uh, 100, 160. Yes. So X equal 20. So that is the first question. Directly we can uh, find easily. So the second question also the same. Center of the circle is given. Uh, the line passes through center AB. So it's the diameter. So we need to find the X. Another data is given. It's an isosceles triangle. So if this angle is given X, X, this also X because angles opposite equal sides are X equal. So we don't want to write it because using the figure also we can do it. Part 1 questions you have to use uh, mostly the figure. The important parts only you have to write. Okay. So ACB. What is ACB? AB is diameter. So ACB is on semicircle. So ACB is 90. You know the reason. So now we have 2x plus 90 is equal to 180. So x equal 2x equal 180 minus 90. So 2x equal 90. So x equal 45. x is 31.6, 31.7 and the miscellaneous all the x you can do it.